Hey guys, Six Dreamers here. I've got a big announcement. Snow Breeze is released. I know it says Snow Breeze Live, but it is basically the Snow Breeze. So yeah, here is their website right now. You can see you can download them from there. And the download didn't actually work for me, but then I found this link when I search uh, when I search it on Google. I will have this link in the video description, but I will have this link as well. And these are the requirements. Uh, you need to have Windows XP, Vista, or Windows 7, 32 or 64 bit. .NET Framework 3.5, 256 um, MB of RAM. So yeah, that is all the requirements. And here you can see what devices it works for. All devices except the iPod Touch third generation. Okay, third generation, that's what for it. By the way, this is for the 3.1.2 firmware. And there are two things you have to download. Obviously, there's Snowbreeze um, program. I will have the link in the video description, as I said. And actually, you have to download the firmware as well. I will have the link in the video description. Then we'll get to this website. Then so just click here. And here are all the firmwares. As you can see, iPhone. And then you want to look for 3.1.2. iPhone 3.1.2 if you're on the iPhone 2G iPhone 3G, 3.1.2 if you're on the 3G, iPhone 3GS, it's basically the same for all devices. So yeah, when you have got all your stuff, you want to open up the Snowbreeze application. And you want to make sure that your iPhone is connected via the USB cable to your computer. So yeah, now I, wanna, uh, now I will open the application, I want to click this blue arrow. And of course, I want to choose the expert mode. Click next, next, and now you have to browse your IPSW. So then I'm going to my desktop, and here it is. Open. Case okay, for the iPhone 3G. Recognize it is automatically. So yeah, now I want to click the blue arrow. And these are all the following options. Um, what I want to choose is, um, you're going to want to click, um, general, hit the blue arrow, and, well, this is, select any of the options below that you want to be applied to your custom IPSW, I'll just leave it like that, click next, and this is if you want to, um, unlock your device, for 3GS and 3G users, you want to click that, but I'm not going to do that. And for 2G users, you want to click that, and then next. And I think I want to have both city and rock. And this is nothing you have to care about, actually. Um, so you want to click next. And here's where you can choose your custom boot logo. You can browse if you have one. I do, I do not have one, but I want to use this, actually. So I'm going to tick those boxes, which are already ticked, actually. This is the recovery logo and this is the boot logo. Next. And now we are back here. Then what you want to do is you want to click build IPSW. Click next. And click start for your IPSW to begin. I will be back when it's done. So now it is almost done. I am sorry that I went through the steps quite fast. I will have the steps in the video description as always. Uh, over there, 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 whatever. So yeah, um, now it is done. Snowbreeze seems to have successfully created your IPSW. This file will be located on your desktop. And there it is. Right click next. So yeah, now we, it, we are back to where we started. So now what you want to do is you want to open up um, iTunes. So this is um, basically like Pwnage tool for Windows, you restore to the firmware we just created. So actually Snow Risk actually don't jailbreak your device, but it creates a, f a jailbroken firmware which you can restore to in iTunes. So, actually my iPhone can't connect to iTunes, but what you want to do is you want to go to the um, iPhone tab over here 
and then you want to hold down the shift button right here and as, as, uh, at the same time you will you will have to click on restore I will have this in the video description um, and then uh, you will be allowed to browse the firmware that you want to restore to so then of course you want to choose the new firmware and you want to restore to that and then your iPhone will restore and then it will be jailbroken so when it comes up it will be jailbroken with new boot logos and all that kind of stuff with Cydia, with Rock if you want to have those uh, both things and with your unlock if you chose that as well I'm sorry that my iTunes doesn't work, of course you understand that it isn't my fault or anything, but I will have the steps in the video description. Shift click, hold down shift, and click restore when you are in the iPhone tab right here somewhere. And then browse the firmware we just created in Snowbreeze. So that is basically how to jailbreak your iPhone in Snowbreeze. As I said, it is for the for all devices except the um except the iPod Touch third generation. So yeah. Um that is what, uh, what you have to do. So download the firmware, open up Snowbreeze, you wanna download that as well. And go through the steps, which I will have in the video description. Sorry for the background noise you might don't hear, but I do, because my ears is better than the microphone of this camera. So I will have the, all the steps in the video description, because I got I went through it quite fast, and I couldn't really do it because my iTunes has messed up. But that is how to jailbreak your iPhone. I hope you like this video. I think it is the first on YouTube. Um. Well, Dino Zambas had a video on it before it came out, but that's because um, he got it from the team before it released, which I can understand because Dino Zambas is like the king of jailbreak videos. Huh? So yeah, thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and do all the kind of stuff you want to. So thanks for watching, guys.